All right, welcome back to Whole Future, guys. So just saw this article come up to the top of my Facebook feed in like the news section. Maybe you guys are seeing it too, I don't know. But it really bothered me, and so I wanted to make a video about it. But it basically is saying that metformin, which is a diabetes drug, could be the next longevity miracle that if you take it, you can live to 120 years old. And so for you guys who don't know, metformin is a drug that they give to type 2 diabetics. It slows glucose production from the liver and slows glucose absorption in the intestines. And so what's funny is that it's a drug that exists for a condition, type 2 diabetes, that is completely preventable and reversible through a diet and lifestyle. You check out this book, Dr. Neil Barnard's Program for Reversing Diabetes. So, we got this drug, it's been around for like a hundred years, and it has awful side effects, and now they've done a bunch of studies to sort of kind of show that maybe you can live to 120 if you took it all the time. So, I dove deep into this, so we'll pull up the article here. A diabetes drug could increase human lifespan to 120 20 years. So basically, you read through, it's a bunch of, you know, attention-grabbing ya ya. And um, what's funny is that uh, at the end here, this woman says in the comments, too bad it's 120 years of misery. Metformin has the most awful side effects. I've been on for five years for PCOS, not diabetes, and I hate the effect it has on my tummy. You look at it wrong, and you're going to spend the day in the bathroom. So people know that this has bad side effects. Uh, if we look here, we can see the main ones are GI disturbances and nausea. So, makes you just basically feel really sick. Is that better than possibly, you know, still kind of having diabetes, but manageable diabetes? So, if you go on a whole foods plant-based diet, you can reverse your diabetes in sometimes a matter of weeks. If you watch the movie Forks Over Knives, you can see this happen. This guy gets off all his diabetes medication. If you're out there and you have diabetes, I'm not saying get off your medication, but I'm saying investigate this, work on it with your doctor, and see if you can get off this drug because I know it's making a lot of you feel awful. And so the idea that this drug that like makes you spend all day in the bathroom is gonna live you're gonna live to 120, like what's the point? You know? What's the point of being 120 if it's not good years? And so I, I pulled up this study on actual um, PubMed because you can do that. You can not just read catchy headlines and go, oh, metformin, I'm going to start taking the diabetes drug <laughs> to live longer because it look little. That comes from a pill. I can still eat pizza and cheeseburgers and not exercise, and I'll just take a pill and sit in the bathroom all day and live to 120. So you, you dig through the research, and um, basically what happens is they tested it on uh, biguanides, uh, or biguanides is the, t uh, sorry, that's metformin's a biguanide. And so they tested it on worms and drosophila, which are fruit flies and mice. They did not test this on humans, okay? And so they found that they live longer, but testing on rats or, or testing on worms and things like that does not necessarily correlate to humans. What they have found in the research is that if you keep your blood sugar low, that you're going to have a healthier, longer life. And so what's the best way to keep blood sugar low? Is it taking a drug all the time? <laughs> is it cutting down your carb intake? Actually, the, the studies are very clear that eating a low-fat diet will actually keep your blood sugar low. And this is a bit counterintuitive for people, but basically fat is like very sticky and globular and it kind of clogs up the bloodstream. So if you eat a lot of fat and then you also eat some carbs with it, some sugar, that sugar um, is going to have a hard time getting out of the bloodstream and into the cells because basically what happens is the hormone insulin comes in and takes the, grabs onto the sugar and sequesters it into the cell. But now you have this fat in the blood, the insulin receptors on the outside of the cell are blocked, the insulin can't attach to the cell, can't get in, so blood sugar stays high, the body secretes more insulin to try to fix the problem, but really the fat's the problem. 
So we found, and we found clinically, that when you lower the fat intake to ideally about 10% of calories by eating whole fresh ripe raw organic fruits and vegetables, whole plant foods, that now the insulin receptor is no longer blocked. So you eat carbs, 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 and whole food carbs, not refined carbs like soda, things with fiber that are going to slow the release of the blood sugar in of the sugar from the intestine in the bloodstream, then once it gets in the bloodstream, it can easily be taken into the cell by insulin. So, this article is kind of half right. Yes, if you keep low blood sugar, if you keep your blood sugar consistently low, you're going to live longer, you're going to be healthier. But is the way to do this a drug that just kind of masks the symptoms and makes you sit on the toilet all day? <laughs> or do you want to have boundless energy, feel amazing, be free of disease, wake up feeling energized without an alarm. Okay, <laughs> this is what you can do on a whole food plant-based diet. So metformin, uh, if you want to go that way, you know, go that way. I'm just trying to show you your options. So I think the idea of keeping blood sugar down is great, but when they do these studies and they put people on drugs versus diet, Side by side, the people on the diet always do way better. So if you're interested in mo more about learning about whole food plant-based diet, I say check out the movie Forks Over Knives. Uh, I'll put a link to that below. We got a guy who reverses his type 2 diabetes on diet. Check out the book, um, Dr. Bernard's Program for Reversing Diabetes. Awesome book. Explains all the science he's done, the clinical trials with this diet. It works really well. And if you want to support and learn more about it, subscribe to these videos. And um, give this video a thumbs up and share with anybody you know who maybe is, ha is on metformin, is taking it for diabetes or some other condition. Just let them know that there are other options if you don't want to just sit on the toilet for 120 years. Anyway, thanks for watching, guys. Catch you next video. Hey guys, subscribe to Whole Future on YouTube and check out Whole Future on Facebook, Instagram, and Snapchat as well.